Last week I offered in conjunction with the LinkedIn meetup in Brooklyn that anybody who would tag some new contacts for me, new connections, because I was so close to 5,000, I just wanted to add a few more, would be eligible for laser coaching. And today I had an opportunity to meet with somebody, a great friend, new LinkedIn contact, somebody who's super active and adding so much value to the platform to talk about an issue that's important to him, which is the issue of managing time. This is a professional who's also a volunteer, who also has a large and growing family with lots of demands and expectations, has so much he wants to contribute, and yet at the same time has a hard time really saying no and really staying focused. And so we talked about a couple of things, but one strategy I wanted to share with you. You know, oftentimes you hear about the idea of making a to-do list, prioritizing the things you have to get done, and that is important. But it's even more valuable sometimes, instead of just writing out your to-do list and prioritizing and going from one to two to three, to actually going into your calendar, whether that's Gmail or Outlook or anything else, and actually putting in the time, blocking out the time to make sure that when you're going to every Monday at 8.30 to 9 or whatever time it is, I'm going to do X. And from 10 to 11, I'm going to do Y. And of course, life isn't perfect in that way. But if it's on the calendar, it usually gets done. One other strategy we talked about as well is having an accountability partner because you could do this at the beginning. It's exciting. You know, I plot it all on the calendar, but it's also work. And work can be something that we want to stop doing if we don't absolutely have to. So getting an accountability partner, somebody you're going to check in with every day, maybe on Sunday, first thing on Monday, sometime where the two of you are going to review each other's calendars, make sure that you have everything plotted out that needs to be, and asking each other, how did it go? Did you stay on task? Did everything happen the way that you intended? And if not, why not? Those two strategies blocking your schedule, creating an accountability partner are going to help all of us to be more effective, more productive, and leave enough time for all the other things that we love to do that we don't necessarily find the time for today.